Welcome to Insurgency Sandstorm, the hardcore tactical shooter with a focus on atmosphere, teamwork, high lethality gunplay, and intense firefights. My name is Michael Saruhas, I'm the lead game designer, and in this video, I'm going to take you through what makes our experience really special. Insurgency Sandstorm offers both cooperative and player versus player experiences across a wide variety of maps and layouts. In our co-op mode checkpoint, you can play solo or team up with other players against challenging AI. Your team must capture and destroy objectives as you advance through the map, but be careful. You only respawn when your team completes an objective. That means if you're the last one alive, it's all on you. Every time an objective is captured, there's a chance the enemy will launch a counterattack. Whoever just captured now needs to defend their new position until the attack ends and their team finally respawns. Sandstorm features three player versus player modes, push, firefight, and skirmish. In push, an attacking team must progress through the map until they are able to reach and destroy the defending team's weapon cache. This mode moves fast and intense, with team coordination and fire support being critical to a successful attack or defense. In firefight, however, things slow down. This mode focuses on close and intimate encounters, featuring restricted loadouts and no fire support. The map has three objectives. Every time a team captures one, they respawn their dead teammates. You need to take all three objectives or kill all the enemy to win. The clutches get real here, with one player able to bring back the entire team with just a single capture. There's also a ranked 5 versus 5 for those looking for a more competitive experience. Skirmish is a large-scale open battlefield where players need to destroy the other team's weapon cache, defend their own, and hold all three objectives. Each team needs to keep their weapon cache safe, because if they lose it, they'll stop getting those respawn waves from captures. Skirmish also features vehicles, which can be used to quickly get on point or lock down key positions. They have MGs that chew through walls and flesh alike, and because of their shields, they can be really tough to take down without explosives. Weapons at Sandstorm have no crosshair and are not fixed to the center of the screen. Instead, they use a system called free aim, meaning they can move independently of your view. You always need to mind your muzzle and pay attention to where your weapon is pointing. Whenever you fire, that's where the bullet is gonna go. And as long as your finger is on the trigger, you can always take a shot. Insurgency is all about immersion. We keep our HUD very minimal. There's no kill feed, hit markers, or anything that might distract from the action in front of you. The only way to confirm a kill in Sandstorm is to watch the body drop. Each weapon and its ballistics were created with meticulous care. Caliber, barrel length, and other factors play into every shot you take. Close range shots are simulated in a manner similar to hitscan, with longer ranges using a real-time projectile simulation. As a result, CQB is clean and quick, especially considering our high lethality. Long range shooting, however, involves a little more time to target calculation. In addition to dropping from gravity, bullets slow down as they travel through the air, and slow down even more when they penetrate different materials all the while reducing their damage potential. A thin wooden panel isn't much, but a thick concrete barrier is a different story. Now, ammo management is important. When you reload an insurgency, you're not just dipping into a magical pool of ammunition. You need to keep track of every magazine you have and how many bullets you have in each one. If you forget, you can always pat down your vest with an ammo check to get a rough idea. There's also a staged reload system, where if your reload is interrupted, you could continue it from where you left off. You can also drop your magazine during a reload in order to reload faster. This is great for an emergency situation, or just whenever the mag is empty. Every sound in Insurgency Sandstorm tells a story. We've put a lot of effort into our soundscaping to contribute on both a gameplay level and an atmospheric one. Every gunshot, explosion, call-out, artillery shell, helicopter rotor, and footstep have been carefully created to realistically take into account distance, location, and occlusion. The same shot fired in a cement room, a metal warehouse, or a city street is going to sound different, and gives a wealth of information about the shooter. What weapon are they using? Are they moving? How far away are they? What part of the room are they hiding in? The Sandstorm is definitely a hardcore military game, but still recognizes the value of fluid movement. There's a variety of interaction options, including low vaulting, high vaulting, sliding, door breaching, and charging. Kick in a door to quickly make entry, disorienting anyone inside, and killing anyone unfortunate enough to be standing in the way. Peek through a door to get an angle on an enemy, or bounce in a grenade without exposing yourself. These kinds of options are also available in vehicles, where you can duck to avoid fire, or even turn an enemy vehicle's machine gun on its own passengers.
Sandstorm features a large class selection, each with its own weapons, equipment, and abilities. Weapons are never unlocked. They're all right there from the start. The weapons available to you depend on your class. All your gear is purchased using a limited amount of supply points, and everything you carry has weight to it. This means that every choice has a cost. Go light with no armor and an SMG to run fast and get on objective quickly, or get strapped with heavy armor and extra ammo to clear indoor areas. The Demolitions class can bring explosives to take out vehicles or hold up groups of enemies, while the Marksmen could take high-powered rifles for long-range engagements. The Commander and Observer classes can work together to bring powerful fire support to the field. Call in artillery strikes, smoke screens, gas attacks, airstrikes, explosive drones, and helicopter support. Weapons can be customized and equipment selected to suit a variety of roles. Create your own personal build from a wide variety of upgrades including optics, foregrips, suppressors, explosives, quick draw holsters, greased bolts, and more. As with our weapons, these are never unlocked. They're all right there from the start and depend on your class. But remember, each accessory comes with a cost. Think tactically and prepare appropriately. Use smoke grenades to cover your advance, Molotov cocktails for area denial, rocket launchers to destroy vehicles, C4 to surprise enemies, or just good old-fashioned, no-nonsense frag grenades. You create your own identity on both factions. Choose from hundreds of different clothing and gear items including combat shirts, track pants, helmets, gloves, hoodies, masks, sunglasses, and plenty of other options. Change your gender, face, hair, and voice to suit your character. Every customization item you see can be earned through gameplay. More content is coming after release. Post-launch, we'll be adding new weapons, maps, customization items, modding support, and more. As with the original Insurgency, this type of content will be free. Our community really is important to us, and we don't want to split our player base. We want everyone who owns Sandstorm to experience these updates. We hope you enjoyed this overview of Insurgency Sandstorm's features and mechanics, and we look forward to seeing you in the servers on release December 12th.